Bush villages in Alaska share many challenges to developing effective fire prevention and suppression programs. One is the great distance between most villages and the isolation these distances create. Aircraft, snow machines, and boats are usually the only means of traveling intervillage. Many people in Alaska practice a subsistence lifestyle, relying on the natural resources around them for food. Fishing and hunting go on year-round, making it difficult to schedule training. In some villages, there's only a very brief time when subsistence activities are not the priority. Some villages lack running water. Many coastal villages have only boardwalks to join houses and homes. Extremely cold temperatures in northern and interior villages make outside training difficult, and in some cases, impossible. Finally, cultural differences sometimes challenge trainers to effectively present classroom and practical materials. In 2001, a federal grant was awarded to help the state develop a program to equip villages with appropriate firefighting tools and give residents training on ways to use and maintain the equipment. Alaska had attempted to shore up firefighting capabilities in the villages during the 1980s. This effort fell short because equipment was often inappropriate and training inadequate. It was important to avoid the mistakes of the 80s. Thanks to the federal grant and a partnership formed between a nonprofit organization and the state, the situation in Bush, Alaska is getting better. Project Code Red, a program developed to provide equipment and training to rural Alaskans for fire protection and education, is now in its third year and has yielded positive results. Project Code Red is a product of a cooperative effort between Alaska Rural Partners, Inc., a nonprofit corporation. Alaska Village Initiatives, a statewide not-for-profit corporation, and the Alaska Division of Fire Prevention. Alaska Senator Ted Stevens provided leadership for securing project funding, while Alaska's Fire Marshal's Office provided operational guidance for design and implementation of training. Numerous other government agencies are now supporting Project Code Red. Officially called micro-rural fire departments, village fire departments have become known locally as Carhart Fire Departments, or Fire Departments in a Box. Reference to Carhart comes from the external attack strategies and tactics emphasized when the village firefighters will be wearing their Carhart brand coveralls common throughout Alaska. Fire Department in a Box refers to the shipping container that houses the village's firefighting equipment. In a 10-year span, fire-related deaths in Alaska average nearly twice the national average. Of those 191 fatalities, 49 were children. Traditional engines and pumpers are inefficient in rural Alaska. They're expensive to maintain, require heated storage buildings, skilled technicians, and necessitate good roads. Rural living requires reliance on exposed volatile fuels such as diesel, oil, and gasoline for heating, cooking, electrical power, and transportation. Most rural communities are inaccessible by road, and those on highways cannot often get outside fire service in time. Within the community, rough roads, trails, and boardwalks are the norm. The traditional bucket brigade method is not uncommon as the only means for protecting vital community institutions, homes, and economic investments. The solution? A powerful, self-contained, easily operated, state-of-the-art fire suppression system, the Project Code Red Firehouse. The equipment is housed in a heated, lighted, and shelved firehouse. Two trailers contain all the components to fight a fire. They're designed to be transported by ATV, snowmobile, or regular vehicle. One mobile trailer contains a Trimax TM30, a high-tech compressed air foam system in which 30 gallons of water and one gallon of foam produce 600 gallons of ecologically safe firefighting solution. The compressed air foam system allows volunteers to safely fight fires at distances of up to 75 feet, removing the need to enter burning structures. The system is easily rechargeable and cost-effective. The second trailer contains extra water and foam, a water pump, an ice auger, additional hose, fire extinguishers, a pickaxe, and space for transporting additional gear. Communities establish their fire departments by selecting a chief, recruiting volunteers, and registering with the State Fire Marshal's Office. Benefits of a registered volunteer fire department include national awareness through fire reporting, eligibility to fire grants such as FEMA, and access to surplus equipment. 
Community volunteers are trained by professionals from the Alaska State Fire Marshal's Office and earn certification for prevention and safely fighting fires from outside of burning structures. Through intensive, in-village, multi-day classroom instruction and hands-on experience, volunteers learn contemporary firefighting and fire prevention techniques. Multimedia classroom topics include safety, fire behavior, extinguishing agents, strategies and tactics, fire prevention, and FERS reporting, and conclude with proficiency testing. Opportunities for hands-on experience are woven throughout the lessons. Under the guidance of a skilled certified fire service training instructor, students learn how to properly fill, clean, store, maintain, and deploy the equipment and gear. Students practice with fire extinguishers. They learn in what situations ABC extinguishers are most practical, proper methods of deployment, and maintenance. Experience is gained on the highly effective Trimax TM3 CAF extinguisher, which is capable of extinguishing fires at a safe distance and is easily recharged. Trainees operate portable water pumps appropriate for extended firefighting operations and when used in tandem with the Trimax TM30, greatly enhance the effectiveness of the entire Project Code Red system. Training concludes with a live fire where the trained volunteers must, as a team, plan a course of action, ensure public safety, operate the equipment, and suppress the fire. Graduates earn basic rural firefighter certification and are eligible to attend advanced firefighter training and certification. Most of all, they become the fire protectors of their community. Of Alaska's 280 rural communities, currently 86 villages and cities have or are designated to receive the Code Red Firehouse. Others have applied for and are awaiting funding. In the near future, Alaska's bush population will be better prepared to fight community structure fires and protect itself from loss of life and property caused by fire. Through cooperation, training, innovation, and application of new technology, villagers with a Project Code Red are better prepared to fight community fires than ever before.